Hey guys, it's John from Fathercraft. Today I'm talking about the best baby carriers of 2019. All right, number five, the Beko Baby. All right, the Beko Baby retails for around $150. This carrier was popular online and at other review sites, but this was my least favorite of the group. First, the Beko Baby Pros. It's lightweight, it has a belt pocket, got four carry positions and it's easy to convert the leg positioning. So it checks off a lot of our boxes. My overall gripe with this carrier is that it didn't feel comfortable on me and anecdotally Calvin didn't seem very comfortable in it as well. The Beko has the least amount of padding both in the shoulder straps and the waist belt. Oops. I also didn't like the idea of having to cross the shoulder straps to make it feel more comfortable as the website kind of directs you to do. Number four, Plaid and plaid, yikes, definite fashion faux pas. The Ergo Baby 360. Ergo Baby is so popular that many parents like six years ago me thinks it's the only option out there. That being said, there are quite a few pros that go along with this carrier. So a lot of the leg and head support positioning is driven by buttons as opposed to snaps, which for my money feels more secure, especially for newborns. There's also an oversized lumbar support section on the waist strap, so ergonomical. <laughs> it also has some pretty thick shoulder straps which increases your comfort level. So it feels really sturdy without feeling as heavy as most of the other carriers which is why this is my wife's favorite carrier. One other thing uh, that goes along with the Ergo Baby is a sun hood which is again very convenient to have if you're outdoors a lot with your baby. Okay so some things I wish were different with the Ergo Baby. The shoulder strap buckle is pretty hard to reach when needing to adjust it especially for us less flexible folks. Maybe it's a breeze for you more bendy people out there, but I am definitely not included in that group. Although it is not as heavy feeling as the other carriers, it's still pretty heavy. And for someone like me who is prone to sweating a lot, this doesn't do me any favors. Additionally, you need a separate infant insert for newborns um, weighing less than seven pounds, which gives you one more thing to struggle to figure out how to operate. Lastly, it is quite pricey coming in again, as I said, at 160 bucks. Number three on our list, the Lily Baby Complete All Seasons. Other than the name being kind of strange, it's a pretty good carrier. It's one of the cheaper options on our list coming in at 140 bucks. It's marketed as a six position carrier. And you may be thinking now, uh, you don't have six sides and you'd be thinking correctly. Actually, it includes a fetal position where your baby is curled up inside the carrier. We didn't have an infant, so we didn't get to test this. But it seems kind of scary, and it's not a recommended position by the International Hip Dysplasia Institute. But Lily Baby does have a lot of pros. Technically, there are two pockets, a larger one that is zipped on the side where the hood is housed, and a smaller one on the outside of that. Like the Ergo Baby, it comes with a hood, which is very convenient for you outdoorsy folk. The shoulder straps are very thick and comfortable, and everybody likes comfort. It's got this nice little pad that goes across the shoulder straps, as well as this lumbar pad that goes across the waist belt. All right, so some of the drawbacks. Well, for one, that larger zippered storage pocket is also where the hood lives, as I mentioned. So it doesn't make that pocket very functional when the hood is inside of it. Another big drawback for me was converting the leg positioning. You have to physically take off the lumbar pad, pull the strap out from underneath here on both sides, and then put the strap back underneath in order to change the leg positioning. That's a lot of work. Speaking of the lumbar pad, uh, it's a nice thought, but it's very rigid and, you know, feels like a bit of hard cardboard, which kind of ended up digging into my back instead of providing the support that it's designed to do. That being said, I do love where this company's head is at in terms of support. Um, just wish this thing was a little bit more comfortable. Number two on the list. The Baby Bjorn Baby Carrier One. Now, the Baby Bjorn is the other 800 pound gorilla of the baby carrier space. We actually like the Baby Bjorn a lot, but the metaphor works because this sucker is heavy. More on that in a minute. All right, so I really like the built-in infant insert, which has two settings for newborn and for toddler. And it's really easy to adjust using the zipper mechanism. It also has a lot of on-carrier instructions, which is super helpful when you've lost your manual or you don't feel like going on to find that particular instruction. It also has what I call a segregated strap mechanism, meaning you strap yourself into the carrier, you do all your adjustments, and then you grab your baby, 
strap them in and do their adjustments. This mechanism also makes it really easy to take your baby out of the carrier. Again, you don't have to worry about their legs getting caught on any of the straps or buckles. You simply unbuckle it, and let them fall out. <laughs> just kidding. You hold them and then you throw them out. I'm just kidding again. I really like the easy to use buckle mechanism as well. So as you can see, it's different than the standard quick release buckle. This one just pops on. There you have it. And there's a little button there on the side that opens it. I really do like how the waist belt tightens by pulling the two straps. It reminds me of a backpacking backpack, which is great, but I don't like how the waist belt connects together using this clip. Uh, it's exposed and it sits directly in the middle of your back, which you can feel at times. All right, some of the downsides of the Baby Bjorn. This is the most expensive carrier that we tested coming in at $190. It's heavy due to that soft, thick material, has zero pockets, uh, and then the waist connector is something that I'm not a huge fan of. <sighs> you ready for it, folks? Now for a number one baby carrier of 2019. The Kalugo Carrier. We recently did a full video on the Kalugo Carrier, so you can find more details by following the link in the description. So out of the gate, it's actually pretty similar to the Baby Bjorn 1 in overall on-off functionality. But what makes this carrier great is when you consider it holistically. The material, the pockets, the innovative buckles, the in-home trial, plus the price, all make it an outstanding choice. Comparatively speaking, it's rather inexpensive coming in $125 and it's actually the cheapest option on our list. There's a 100-day risk-free in-home trial. Did I mention the pockets? Well, there's quite a bit of them. Stash some goldfish, stash your keys, stash your phone. You've got pockets for stashing. It's also got the segmented system that the Baby Bjorn has. So this means again that the shoulder straps are not directly attached to the carrier and that you can tighten it yourself before putting your baby in and put your baby in and then make those adjustments for your baby. These magnetic buckles are the best thing to ever happen to any baby carrier ever made in the history of humankind and that is no hyperbole. On top of that, the material is very soft and light. I really love how the straps are of the seatbelt varietal. They're soft, uh, they feel very durable and strong and they're sleek and stylish. Overall, the Kalugo is super usable, versatile, and looks good, especially on me. Let's go ahead and mention some of the drawbacks or things that we wish were different with this carrier. The pocket on the waist belt is not easy to access once your baby is in the carrier. Calvin is rather on the large side of babies or toddlers, um, so he kind of sagged over the belt when he was in it, making it hard for me to access it. Lastly, there are only two carry positions, either outward facing or inward facing. However, Kluge will be releasing a back-rated carrier in May of 2019, and when they do, you best believe we will be testing it. There you have it, folks, our top five baby carriers of 2019. And if you like this video, take a second and actually like this video. All right, to the contest. We're giving away three of our picks for the best baby carrier, which again is the Kalugo. We'll announce the first winner in early June 2019, and our second winner in September of 2019, and our third winner in January of 2020. Here's how you can get multiple entries. One, do you have a burning question about baby carriers? Ask in the comments below. One entry. Two, subscribe to our amazing YouTube channel. You'll get baby gear reviews, tips for parents, and dad jokes upon dad jokes, obviously. To let us know you did, you must accomplish number three, and that is head on over to fathercraft.com backslash contest and let us know that you subscribe to our channel. While you're there, go ahead and join our email list and you'll get three entries. All right, carry on my wayward son and we will see you in the next video. Carry on my wayward son. There will be different. Don't you cry no more. Oh.